Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Stranded Deep. My name is Weasel, with me is the Wheatley, and people have been asking what kind of bird it is. It is a green she conure, and it's not mine, but I share a living space with him. In any case, yeah, he gets agitated since I'm not talking to him. In any case, we've been here uh, establishing our little base. Uh, we made a little bed, we made our house, we put the food in there, except these two guys, because they're not, you know, didn't remove the outer layer yet. And we are about to look for more loot. I found a flashlight, as you can see, a nice torch here. And over here, I found duct tape, a roll of duct tape. Nothing wrong with that. Don't know what I can do with it yet, but I'm glad that I have it. I'm gonna put the hammer here. This is where we're gonna build stuff. And same with my axe. I'm gonna keep that in the inventory. My knife is gonna go dull very soon. That's not a problem at all. Let me show you. Let me show you what we can do about this. This is gonna cost me a rock. Okay, we're smacking that rock open. There you go, and now we have a rock shard. And the awesome thing about the rock shard is, it's pretty much just like, it's pretty much just like a knife. You just, you just landed behind me, didn't you? <laughs> there he is again. It's pretty much just like a knife, with the exception that it doesn't have durability yet, so that's really nice. As you can see, no bar below there, and it's gonna take me like three hits, or four maybe, to hit that potato plant. So even if it is a little bit slower, just a little bit, you don't have to worry about durability, so that's kind of neat. Whereas the knife, it's just gonna break. Wait, where did I put my knife? Did I throw it away? I might have accidentally thrown my knife away, or is it already broken? I, th I think the potato blend broke it. Let's take those rocks and bring those back to base, and then we're gonna go and look for the loot. And this time I'm actually going to take my life raft with me. Just gonna do it the proper way, since we're not swimming as fast anymore. I might just use this, also not at the risk of losing it, so that is actually really neat. And that would allow us to bring a little bit more loot than usual. Do I have my pedal with me? Yes, I do. And we're going to go out to this little, neat little loot spot. Hmm, please, a compass. A compass would be the best thing right now. Okay, let's check you out. <laughs> with a pedal in my hand, of course. Of course, how else would I do it? Oh no. Oh, there's a console cabinet, so there's definitely loot in here. Probably part of an engine, that would be so cool. Since the engine is now craftable, Really? Oh, wow, okay, this one spawned really in the middle of a rock, making it hard for me to even get in there. That's no good at all. I made it in. Another console cabinet. A jerry can. Come on, open up. And a buck. Oh, it's just a bucket of seawater. Mm. What's in this cabinet? Antibiotics! Ooh, nice. And this- oh, hey, 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 hey. A carburetor. I have no idea what it is, but I'm super intrigued. I've never seen it before. Let's bring- ah, I'm stuck. Oh no. Let's bring our stuff back onto the life raft. <laughs> I mean, I'm so close to the island, I could have just swum over there, but eh, whatever. Here, let's let's get the carburetor. Carburetor, carburetor. Is this part of the engine? Oh, it's a part of the engine. I never had that one before. Perfect. That's a good start. Now I'll just need uh, three more parts. And we got a jerry can, so that's good for fuel. I'm a little bit nervous about their positioning. I'm gonna take the carburetor with me. We're gonna put our carburetor over here. The antibiotics, which are really good in case we get sick. I've been sick in the last episode. And actually, I should probably drop my water here. I don't need that right now. Oh, I can't drag it anymore because of the buckets? Who knows? All right, let's fill up the buckets with water before we go back. There you go. Eventually, we're gonna boil them down. The problem is if we just boil water in a bucket, I mean, it's gonna be drinkable in terms of hygiene, but it's not gonna be drinkable because of the, the salt in there. So I don't know why we even have buckets of seawater here. We would need a little bit of a different contraption to catch the condensed water, which then would be without sea salt. If we just boil the bucket of seawater, we're just gonna have less water and more salt in it, or eventually just salt. Oh, hey! How did you get here? I somehow accidentally dropped my water bottle into the ocean and I just saw it. All right, there we have a shark. All right, you know what? We should make ourselves a crude spear. All right, come here. And we are gonna go shark hunting now. Let's just hope that they didn't fix your stupidity. That would be very, very helpful right now. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, he, oh, he went under. I think he's over there. You're not escaping me. Ooh, hey. Just stay with me. Ah, oh, I'm not as fast anymore, right? He can't escape now. Hey, stay here. Fishy, 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 fish. Good, fishy, 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 fish. If I could dig, if I could dig something like a nice big pond on that island, I would totally keep you as a pet, like a live pet, a live shark. How awesome would that be? You know, extreme hardcore surviving, not eating the shark, but keeping it as a pet. Oop, two sharks, two sharks, 
Two sharks. Not good. Never good. Swim towards the island. Don't escape. Oh no! Don't escape! I can get him like this. I see his little... fin there. Good shark, good shark. Just... Ah, I got him! Yes! Let's bring him. I got another shark, I got another Timmy. I'm gonna enjoy your meat. <laughs> Phrasing. Alright, you just stay here while I have a look at your friend. You you wanna rent? You wanna rent a little nice spot on my island? No background check needed. You just need to come here and put that spear in you. Come here, come here. There's no point fighting it. We're all gonna die eventually, so why not, you know, with me through a spear? It's getting night again, I can't hunt you at night. Can you be a little bit more considerate, please? We both know how this is gonna end. We both know how this is gonna end. You dying, perfect, I got him. Yes, I got a shark. I think, I think this is great. This is a good start. Really good start. And I'm still hearing that shark sound, that dangerous shark sound. Oh, they're cuddling. They're so cute together. I'm the best matchmaker. It's like a match made in heaven. Um, what am I seeing there? What am I seeing there? Exactly. That's a shark. Oh, come on, buddy. I mean, two of your friends already did it. Just, you know, you want to be cool? You want to be a cool shark? And you just got to get speared. That's what all the cool sharks do right now. They get piercings. They get spear piercings. And I got him. Oh, no, he's underwater. Okay, that's a little bit deep. Luckily, I have a torch. He's not going to get away. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Come with me. Just stay here. Can we swim again? Oh, yeah, we can fly again to... Oh, no, this is too high. We... Ah, I don't want to fly with the shark. That's this weird little bug. We can fly him. I don't feel like flying right now. Oh, no. Stop it. I don't have time to go flying. I got stuff to do. Come with me. Shark zero, weasel one. Let's have a quick look at our stats. I'm a little bit hungry. Just gonna take a nice little relaxing nap on my self-made bed next to my shark pile. And we're gonna eat in the morning. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, that shark pile looks so awesome. Okay, before we head out again to look for loot, I want to quickly just harvest all the items here. Because that stuff respawns fairly quickly. So you don't have to worry when you want to build something later and you don't have to run around. Oh, I gotta get the yucca plant. Same with the potato. It's an endless source of food. So every little bit helps here. So make sure to harvest your potato plants. Can I actually watch this regrow slowly? I'm watching a plant grow. Ah, there you go. <laughs> it actually is visible now how that thing regrows. That's really awesome. So you see when you can harvest it again. But wow, that is really fast. Just gonna wait a little bit longer and it should pop. There we go! That's... that's the fastest growing plant if I've ever seen one. I mean, I've seen growing plants, just not that fast. Yeah, I'll be totally fine to just survive on potatoes here. This thing regrows so fast. I don't even know why I'm bothering with, you know, coconuts. Probably because of the water. Oh, this looks good. Okay, we have a lot of lashings here. Some sticks. Very nice. We're gonna head out and hopefully find more loot. Uh, where could be a place that I'm not seeing right now? <laughs> that helps. Um, on the other side, I remember there was some stuff on the other side, and I'm gonna take my life raft with me. But I would love to check out this little island there in the distance. Hmm. This is not up for discussion. We're gonna go there. If you like it or not. Really? There's not one cloud in the sky. Oh, never mind. It got very cloudy very fast. Well, so much for my plan to go out and loot something. I'm not seeing anything. Great. Well, I guess I'm just gonna stay and make a nice campfire. How about that? Yeah, no, nope, no, nope, this is the wrong one. This, this way, this way, this way. Yes. You can affect, definitely can affect the falling trajectory a little bit by just jumping against the tree. And it doesn't hurt you. I would not recommend doing that in real life. You know, trying to jump against the tree as it's falling to affect its trajectory. It's not gonna work. You heard it here first. Don't stand in front of a tree when it's falling. It might save your life one day. I wonder what happens if I chop this off. Let's see. And... Oh, nice. Oh, I like this. My hut just became so much cooler with this tree on it. That's neat. I like this. God, the rain never stops. This is the worst. We're not having luck with the weather here. I'm just gonna make ourselves a nice little fire. Beautiful. Where's my Zippo? Ah, it doesn't matter that it's raining. Oh, this is not a smart decision. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy that the uh, fire is actually not doing anything to trees yet because this would not be smart at all. This looks like the worst idea ever right there. That's why I'm not a contractor. That's exactly the reason. Okay. If we want to make a fire spit to boil something above the campfire, we're gonna need six rocks to create the fire pit. 
Problem is, I only have four, and this island does not have any more rocks, so... That's something for the future. We're gonna have to bring a few rocks. In the meantime, I guess I'm just gonna have to hold that bucket of seawater over it. I'm holding a metal bucket over a flame. How could this possibly go wrong? It, it made the microwave sound, so let's have a quick look at it. And it says bucket of fresh water. Very nice. Can I can I now drink it? It, it, it said bucket fresh water. Yes. Just boiling water, seawater, doesn't make it drinkable. But it says fresh water. So, I'm just gonna try drink it. Never mind. I'm just vomiting it. They shouldn't have called it fresh water then, because that was still seawater. So yeah, we solved the mystery. You can drink the seawater there. I might be able to cook something in there, maybe a crab or so. That would be really nice. But for making a fire spit, we do need first the fire pit. And then we can create the fire spit. And since I don't have enough rocks, I'm going to have to find more of those on the other islands. Preferably one close by. Other than that, we're going to go explore in the next episode. Bring... Oh, there's a rock! Never mind! I found another rock. Ah, it's such a shame. I would just need one more rock for the fire pit. Just one more and I had a fire pit. Alright guys, I looked everywhere. There's not another stone on this island. No chance to build a fire pit yet. And we're gonna do that in the next episode when we go exploring another island. I'm psyched for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you in the next one. I'm Weasel. I'm out and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye! That's too expensive. Let's get them deadly as butt ever. Mouths are best fit at the front. You don't tell me what to do. You're not my mother. That's much, much better. You're, you have six eyes. You don't need that many eyes. Holy shit, no! I'm too slow. I'm too slow. No, oh, he bit my little, little wiggly tail. Stop it. Running around collecting fish. Just kill them. Much Yo, no, 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 no. I'm out of here. Disgusting. <laughs> that is beautiful. I need a butt eye. There's nothing wrong with a butt.